the mool mantra, the key mantra that he shared with all of us, with the world, with the humanity. In the first word itself, he's said the whole truth. If we can decipher, if we can catch hold of. His, his wording, his teaching, his bani starts from the word ik. In Punjabi, ik means one. So the first word itself is oneness. He is given out the entire message in the first word itself of the divine oneness in this existence, of the connectedness in all that exist, in the eternal divinity, in the oneness of all of us. Ik. The second word then he uses is Omkar. Many people have interpreted this second word Omkar in different ways. We are all free to put our own definitions to it, expression to it. But I believe when Nanakji says Omkar, And when you look at the life of Guru Nanak, throughout his life he's been singing the glories of divinity, of God. His, all his teaching is through his beautiful poetry. And he didn't say the poetry, he sang the poetry. We call it Kirtans. Wherever he traveled, and he traveled across India extensively, even outside of India to spread the message of oneness, of divinity, of love, of, of compassion, of service. He traveled by foot a lot, many thousand miles. Everywhere he will be accompanied by some of his beloved friends, disciples, beloveds on the path, who are all musicians. Who are all singing the glories, the praises of the Divine. Because he used sound and he used the expression of poetry and singing and music so extensively to share what he has experienced, to share his enlightenment with all of us. I believe the word that he used, the second word Omkar, has Om in it, has the sound of Om. I feel Guru Nanak touched the soundless sound of Om, the existential, the primordial sound of Om. Many cultures even today believe that the whole manifested world emerged from sound, from the vibration of sound from the frequency of sound, from the energy of sound. Om is a manifestation of that Om that we say from, from our system. But there is an existential Om which one can experience in absolute depth of silence. In my experience, the sound of silence is the hum of Om. This is what Guru Nanak is saying in the second word, he is giving the Sutra, he is giving another profound message in the second word itself, Omkar. That one, that eternal oneness you can attain through Omkar. If you can tune yourself to listen to the sound of silence, the eternal primordial Om, from which all the Akar, Akar means shapes, manifestations, from that primordial soundless sound of Om, from which all the Akar has emerged, from all the shapes, manifested forms have emerged. He called that as divine. That is divine. The Sutra is little deeper than that. If you focus on the Sutra, he's saying you can touch that divinity from where the, the entire creation has manifested. The, the source of that creation is in the silence, is found in the silence. 
In that silence, she hear Om, the sound of silence. In the Sikh tradition, in the Punjabi, we call it Anahadanad. That sound which we hear without any friction. In my experience, that Anahat Nad is, is close to Om, the sound of Om that we recognize through our, through our ears. So in the second word, he's, he's telling us that if you can be silent, internally, absolutely silent, you'll know the magic, you'll know the truth of divine, of existence. In the third word, then he gives out everything. In the third word, he says, Satnam. Again, many interpretations of this word. Satnam. The literal meaning or translation would be, Sat means truth, Naam means name. True name is the, is the popular uh, interpretation of that. I feel we can go a little deeper than that. Satnam. For me, Naam is remembrance. Naam is not something that you repeat. Naam means remembrance. Satta means truth. Remembrance of the truth is Satta Naam. So in the third sutra, huh, he is giving the final formula. The remembrance of the truth. If you can remember this truth, you too can attain the divine. And what is the remembrance of the truth? The remembrance of the truth is A, oneness, Ik, the oneness of all life forms, the oneness of all divinity. Omkar, that in the absolute depth of your silence, you can know it, you can hear it, you can feel it, you can experience it, but in the depth of your silence. If you can remember this truth, 24 hours, day in, day out, you've got it. In the three words, he's given us the entire jnana, entire knowledge, entire essence of all the teachings that there can be. Decoded messages, masters are, masters are masters of, of giving the sutras. If we can have the ability to decode them and not decode them mentally, but decode them experientially here in the hearts. Mm -hmm.